plowed through 68 different people. 68. And it's all over but the waiting. The fate of Daryl Brooks finally in the hands of the jury. And we're going to begin with breaking news tonight at 10. That jury is tonight sequestered at a Waukesha County Hotel. Jurors deliberated for a while tonight, but will begin in earnest in the morning. Our Sam Kramer is live in Waukesha tonight with a recap of a very long and emotional day. Sam? Yeah, well, as you said, those juries are sequestered, not at home, but in a hotel and without access to their personal electronics. Tomorrow, they'll return here and continue those deliberations. But tonight, both sides made their last case, that last plea to the jury to either find Daryl Brooks guilty or not guilty, which brought some tears back to the courtroom. With all of her evidence before them. It's time for Daryl Brooks to stop running. It's time for him to stop lying. It's time for him to be held accountable for his actions. District Attorney Sue Opper told the jury they should find Daryl Brooks guilty on all 76 charges, especially six counts of first degree intentional homicide. The law states any reasonable person would stop, but in her closing argument, Opper points out Brooks never did. He plowed through 68 different people. 68. How can you hit one and keep going? How can you hit two and keep going? How can you hit three and keep going? Didn't phase him a bit. She briefly retraced the parade route, focusing on the six people killed and more than 60 others who were hurt. Later, Brooks took offense to the prosecution's argument. Throughout this year, I've been called a lot of things. And to be fair, I am a lot of things. A murderer is not one of them. Never has been, never will be. Finding back tears, Brooks again argued what happened at the parade was not intentional, referencing witness testimony that claimed the SUV swerved to avoid some people and was honking its horn. And maybe it's just me, but I would think if I was characterizing someone with this intent to kill and, and, this, and this, this rage and this anger, then why weren't people immediately harmed? But now it's up to the jury to decide as a community waits anxiously for a verdict. So the jury will return at 8.30 tomorrow morning. In just under two hours of deliberations, they've already asked three questions. The first two focused on wanting, actually requesting to see some of those exhibits again, including a photo of Erica Patterson, the map of the entire situation, as well as video of that SUV plowing into the dancing grannies. Their third question was if they could be excused for the night. We're live in Waukesha, Sam Kramer. Fox 6 News. All starts at 8.30 tomorrow and we will be there. Sam, thank you. So stay tuned for Fox 6. For the latest from the trial, we are streaming the trial on the Fox 6 News Milwaukee YouTube page, our Facebook page, and our website. Just head to fox6now.com.